you belong with me in deep darkness. I will show you the secrets of the universe and the cosmos alike. I am the end of time, bane of existence and an emissary of the sixth plane, the nightmare of next. Fear me, mortals, for Sathagwa gives no warning. It's gooey? Aww. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Damn. Uh, well. Would you like to speed date some ghosts? Like the band? No. Not speed dating for ghosts. Oh, like actual dead ghosts. people. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's yeah. start. <laughs> what is- Oh boy. Uh, oh. You wanna be glasses boy? Or girl? Or- Ghost? Antelope? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, hello there. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. 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 I run this little operation. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. Thanks. We get all kinds of ghosts here. Yup. Did you by any chance break your neck? Is that how you died? <laughs> nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. Whoa. <laughs> what am I? It gets a lonely being a ghost. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Uh, I like being alone. I've never met a ghost who didn't need someone. Ooh, you're reading my mind. <laughs> someone to talk to, to help make sense of all this. Someone uh, to haunt, someone to pants shittingly terrify. Maybe you're right. That's the spirit. Get it? We've got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun themes. Yeah. You pick one. Okay. And sit at a table. Okay. Uh, makes sense. Doesn't it, though? Yes. I just said that. Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. Okay. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Sure. Then a bell rings, and you switch seats. A bell rings from somewhere. <laughs> from the great beyond! Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts. One from your past, one for over two rounds. <laughs> and at the end, you'll believe in Christmas. You'll get to choose your favorite. If they liked you, you go on a date! Yes! How's all that sound? Fucking awesome! I can't wait to fuck a ghost! Easy now. Uh, you'll just go right through them. I said I can't wait! Neither can I! First things first, though. Let's set up the cameras in the bedroom. What? I'm sorry? We're gonna watch you fuck that ghost. What, the room of palms, the room of liars, or the room of black? Uh, I'm gonna go with the room of liars, dude. Or leers. I never really learned how to say that. The room of liars looks like a bit like a conference hall. I'm pretty sure it's just liar. I think it's liar, here. The kind you might see in an airport hotel. There was a meeting of regional managers here yesterday. Followed by some couple's 65th anniversary in the evening. 65th? Wow. They're gonna be ghosts soon. They left a few balloons behind. Very romantic. Worn, plush stacking chairs are set on either side of the lacquered oak tables. In one corner there are wine glasses and a metal pitcher of water. Fuck yeah, bust out the wine, baby! We didn't draw this, but just imagine. Alongside a stainless steel urn for coffee. Ghosts don't need coffee. One particularly nervous ghost is holding a cup anyway. Some habits never die. Unlike the person who is the ghost. <laughs> the bell rings and a ghost appears. Hey. Oh, so cute. <laughs> ah, a ghost. Oh, God. Sorry. Of course you're a ghost. We all are. I'm still not used to this whole being dead thing. Uh, 
Not that scary. <laughs> I'm not used to it either. Nothing prepares you for this life. It's not life. Oh, uh, it's so true. Yep. Yeah. Post life. I feel so lost. When I used to have anxiety attacks, I'd focus on my breathing, listen to my heart beating. Now I can't breathe. I don't even have blood. So what's there to be anxious about? <laughs> what does that mean? Anxiety comes from the brain and you don't have that either. Okay. Take it one step at a time. Steps, yeah. I can't walk. That's a good one. <laughs> it took me forever just to learn how to walk on solid ground. When I first woke up after I died, I fell right through my coffin. So you want to ask any questions about me? Yeah, I, it like, but here I am going on and on about myself. <laughs> Do my own body down, down, down into the bedrock. It was so dark. What did you do? I seized up. Okay. Um, more wine, please. <laughs> that stopped me from falling. It was like my whole body became corporeal, not flesh. Just like, you know how if you concentrate like orange juice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can pick up objects like that. Except I was the object and the earth was holding me. It was so quiet there, stuck in solid rock. Anyway, you were on a date? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how's the weather out there? Um, how long were you down there? It's hard to say. I didn't know much at that point. I didn't even know that I died, let alone what was happening. Where I was. <laughs> bell rings oh that was just the bell phew thank you for listening i guess we'll talk more in a bit if, yeah if we're lucky definitely <laughs> hopefully the other ghosts are as nice as you Whew. all right now you've now that you've met floating sweating blob that never stops talking <laughs> another ghost appears Oh. oh god, man, these this are all, guy's fucking cool. They're all so hot. <laughs> well, look what we have here. <laughs> the voices the creaks like ancient wood. The name's Spooky Peter. Oh, Peter. <laughs> he tips his hat. Hat tip? Dust spills off the brim. How do you do? <laughs> I'm doing great now that you're here. Uh, I do okay. I'd weigh their otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'd weigh their otherwise. Yep. Like maybe you're scared. No, I think you're dope. Like maybe you've seen a ghost. Spooky Peter laughs. <laughs> I like Spooky Peter. Or coughs. It's hard to tell. Uh, you definitely are spooky. Thank you for saying so. I've been doing this a while. Yeah, I assume if your name is Spooky Peter, you're yeah. pretty proud of being spooky. Yeah. My record of hauntings goes back as long as the door. You know, the name Spooky Peter actually came while I was alive. Uh, yeah. It's kind of convenient that I'm yeah. dead now. It definitely replaced my preference. Sheepfucker Peter. <laughs> I, it's better. Spooky's better. Since the Black Death took me in 65. 1665. Oh, I thought the plague was earlier. <laughs> You've seen a lot of them. A lot then. Oh. History happened. Wars. Revolutions. Uh, Mostly I read about these things. <laughs> Mostly I keep to my own. Spooking and scaring. Spooking and scaring! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Spooky Peter! Spooky, scary Peter. <laughs> Gotten pretty good at it. Even been in books. Not always by name, mind you. And they don't always call me Spooky Peter. Yeah. Classic sheep fuckers of history. <laughs> Damn it! Unpublish this! But you can tell me, but you can tell what it's me. The top hat. The fear! The sheep thing. All hot and sick. <laughs> Whenever there's a sheep around, and it's looking nervous. God, one time! One sheep! Nobody spooks him like Spooky Peter. Uh, are you the devil? Just one of his helpers. <laughs> like Blitzen. You could be too. There's something in your eyes. Yeah, I'm like the Rudolph, except with a shiny nose, I have this kind of scythe. Yeah. Uh, 
potential. Teach me your spooky ways. Wow. Now, now. Spooky Peter doesn't just teach anybody. A rock has potential. Before you throw it through a window, what makes you any better? Um, uh, uh, I'm not totally sure I follow. Yeah, small enough to throw? I turn milk into worms. I make unplugged stereos blast music. I can pull my face off. Um, I'm gonna go with the worms one. Grosser fare, eh? I suppose I can see that working. Thanks. Especially if they're drinking the milk when it happens. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Worms is a leap, though. Yeah, we're fucking collaborating right now, dude. Yeah, you're bouncing ideas off each other. Yeah. Maggots will blend in a little better. People are spooked by the unexpected. Like, surprise, <laughs> sheep! <laughs> Messing with something <laughs> familiar like that. It is. It could be pretty spooky for sure. No way are they going near milk again. Spooky Peter laughs. <laughs> or coughs, it's hard to tell. So how's that for a lesson? Uh, what else you got? Slow down there, bedsheet. Oh, am I a bedsheet ghost? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Learning to spook him takes time. If a legendary spooking is what you're after. What you're after? Hmm. And Spooky Peter's gonna take you under his wing, so to speak. You'll need a solid foundation. Sure. It's all about knowing your audience. Are they sheep? A good spookin is in the details. Damn, Spooky Peter got a lot of words in. Anyway, that's my time. So, so far your choices are, uh, awkward ghost that talks too much and servant of Satan. Yeah. The bell. I hope, uh, he's like, okay, before I go, I just, just wanna, and he just does like the, the like the dunking bird thing into the wine. Like, <laughs> It means we move on. Sorry, I was taking a sip of seltzer. Guess I'll be seeing you when I come back around. Hell yeah, dude. Can't wait to see you again, Spooky Pete. Okay. A thick layer of dust now covers the table. A thick layer of cum? No. It's oh. dust. Well, maybe that's ghost cum. Oh, ghost cum is dust. Oh my god, he's a shark! <laughs> That's gotta be you. Wanna make some money? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Doesn't everyone? Exactly. Everyone needs money. You get it. Uh, how do you propose we make money? That's the good part. We take it. Steal it. Then what? We use it. Use it to buy favors. Favors with the breathers. Influence. Information. The living always want the money. You know, I'm not gonna say every time there's a speed dating thing you can see why the folks are single. <laughs> but <laughs> in this case, most certainly. No, man, this guy's got, uh, he's got life goals. He's got a life goal, big, big goals and a tiny face. Oh yeah, the tiniest face. Oh, look at his little smile though. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it is nice. The living by plenty. The name's Leon, by the way. Is it possible we're looking at him upside down? And what we think are his eyebrows are his smile? Oh my god. And it's just his be. eyebrows that keep changing? It so could be. I rob banks, don't judge. Uh, nice to meet you, Leon. Don't be making this personal. We rob a bank together, that's it. No more contact. At least not for a couple of months. Uh... What if I want to rob more? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe I do want to get personal. <laughs> Let's start with one. If it goes off without a hitch, then maybe we go cereal. I prefer frosted flakes. The, the, the problem with robbing banks, people see the robbers, but you can't see a ghosty. We can walk right in and float that money right on out. Genius, right? It's the perfect crime. How will you grab the money? There's no such thing. Well, th remember when uh, Anxiety Ghost was like, oh, you could think really hard and pick things up. Ah. Oh. True facts. But nothing's for sure, is it? Except death. Seems to me that makes us unique like Gotha. Uh, 
I'm still not convinced. So are you like a fish or? <laughs> Just a. So, um. Nah, I'm a Doris. Ah, <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> when you signed up for this, what were you looking for? A spooky book club? A napping partner? Me. I want excitement. What's more exciting than robbing a bank? As a ghost. Or we could Netflix and chill. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> Who else can offer that kind of fun? Nobody but Leon. I'd like to know more first. If it'll get you on board. I'm an open book. Fuck. Son of a <laughs> bitch. The bell rings. Nuts. Time to switch seats. Don't worry. I'll be back. We got more to talk about. We're gonna see who else here wants to join me in robbing this bank. <laughs> The second round begins. Oh man, oh. this is so weird. Fuck, I don't want to fucking deal with this guy again. The other ghosts, holy, were they awful? Leon's just a creep. And Spooky Peter, that name is earned. Oof. Also, I think I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Kyo. Sorry. Uh, Spooky Peter's been around. I think he's actually just dust. My rule, never trust anyone who wears a hat. That that includes a lot of people. Yeah, you just like slowly put a hat on. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you take off like a sombrero and <laughs> put it under the table. <laughs> uh, obviously, yes, yeah. of course. The stuff he said to me, the hairs behind your neck know me. That's fucking poetic, dude. Uh-huh. You got a problem? The, it's best to hide in the corner of their eye. He's what I was afraid of as a kid. Yeah, he said I had uh, potential. If he sees something in you, I'd worry. Go to a medium. Try to get rid of that something. <sighs> yeah, maybe he's right. That's scary. You're scaring me. You're scared by everything. I'd steer clear of him if I were you. All right, mom. <laughs> You're not like these other ghosts. You're kind of a puss. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure thankful for that. At best, dating ghosts is frustrating. Everyone asks the same things. How'd you die? What was your life like? What do you fuck like? Aaron, please. If we were alive, the questions would be like, how do you live? <laughs> what kind what of food do you like? What do you fuck like? What's your favorite movie? <laughs> Dying doesn't make people more interesting. It's video drone, by the way. My favorite movie, I mean. Alright, that's a good that's a good movie. Uh Long Live the New Flesh. Ah! Oh, he's smiling. You know it! Sometimes I feel like a VCR. Obsolete. Okay. Out of date. <sighs> <laughs> Can this next be like, next? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be out of date myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no new stories to tell. Uh, I still have my VCR. Nice! I love meeting fellow fans of dead media. So, do you want to hear how I died? Uh, if you want to talk about it, might as well get it out of the way. I was in film studies. Oh boy. Yeah. I was talking to myself in the mirror and I got so bored I died. <laughs> <laughs> Working my way towards a food in debt. Always pretty sad. I had good friends though. One of them was like a stuffed animal. I was always studying. One weekend they convinced me not to study. And that was bad. They said we should go to the lake instead. I couldn't swim. I never learned. You see where this is going. A volcano erupted. <laughs> I drowned. Natural causes. Everything went black and quiet. I woke up dead in a fancy wooden box. Under six feet of dirt. That's when I fell deeper. In love. Like I told you. I hate thinking about it. Why do I always dwell on the bad stuff? I don't know. Why are you getting mad at me? What's your favorite food? <laughs> Seriously? You're asking me my favorite food? Well, 
Coffee's a food, right? It's coffee. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Another one of these fuckers that makes coffee their whole personality. <laughs> What's your Starbucks order? Is it fucking three receipts worth? I like a dark nut roasted Colombian blend. <laughs> oh! Snore! <laughs> where's Spooky Peter? Yeah, where's the devil guy? Why am I not surprised? Sigh. The funny thing is, I'm more jittery without it. That's called an addiction. What should we do after this? I don't know, date other people? Oh, Jesus, see a movie. I did go swimming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do love movies, but that's not a great first date. Sitting quietly in the dark before we watch a movie. I need to get to know you better. Yeah, I don't want to make the huge romantic commitment of watching a movie. Yeah, of sitting silently next to each other for two and a half hours. Yeah. Be sure you're watch a movie with me material. Uh, the carnival's in town. No, he's in dark galleries. But I don't fucking like this guy. <laughs> you're joking, right? Crowds of people. Giant stuffed garbage animals. Garbage animals? I can't wait. Yeah, what are you talking about? Like raccoons? They're fucking adorable. Mm -hmm. Collapsible rides put together overnight. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. No. Tell you what. Was it yeah or no? <laughs> I'll come up with something. Something a little different. Yeah, because it's always about fucking you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Kyo. Hopefully. That sounds good. Yay! I can't wait to do something with you. It, anything would be better than this. Yeah. <laughs> that is to talking about myself. Sorry. Well, I think that went well. Yeah. The bell rings. See you after we're done. Okay. Peter! Pe oh, it's my boy, <laughs> Spooky Pete! What's up? Ugh. How oh, that's do? right. Sorry, I forgot yeah. I was saying. Go ahead and dunk your beak in that wine, bro. My spooky protege returns. What knowledge do you seek, protege? Oh, dude, I want to know it all. In time, a truly spooky ghost requires one thing. Mm -hmm. One thing above all else. Yeah? Wait for it. Patience! Uh, <laughs> spooky, my boy! <laughs> Uh, what spooks Spooky Pete, huh? Not much. Though I will say, I ain't so fond of beasts. Oh. What kinds of beasts? The domesticates. Hounds. Felines. Uh, you're scared of cats? Spooky folk like me rely on a certain... covertness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Like he just like pauses for effect and then says the word wrong. <laughs> Covertness. I like being covered in blankets. <laughs> I can't just be all clanging about announcing myself. That's not so spooky. Cats, they can sense spooky, Peter. Oh. They know I'm there. They see me when I'm sleeping. They know when I'm awake if I hide in the closet. They'll scritch and scratch at the door. Start yowling. Yeah, but that's creepy, though. Even run around in the dark. To wake the owners, I wager. <laughs> it's trouble, let me tell you. A real impediment. Impediment. Spooky Peter wheezes. Well, you really channeled a... That did a voice for Borderlands that's like that character. Really? So, impediment. <laughs> so it's just like yeah. over enunciating everything. Hitting all the hard T's. Yeah. Come over here and talk to me behind the counter. <laughs> Hot, wet, <laughs> sweet, and tight. Impediment. Impediment. <laughs> Something's rattling around in there. My body has been buried in the sediment. Are you okay, bud? Pay the rattle no mind. I died with it. Oh, you're so fucking awesome. Are you a baby? <laughs> it stays with me. You ever been to the mirror world? Oh, bro, he's like, he's like, yo, <laughs> you want to go to Spencer's? 
You ever been to the mirror world and dope, dope AF? What's that? The place beyond this, but the same as this. You've seen it, but always looking in. Wow, Aww. that's so much heavier. <laughs> like, the intrigue. God damn it. If you fancy another lesson, come on by that edge of things. I'll show you around the other side. I'd like that. Maybe you'll think you'll like it, seeing it's another thing entirely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Some things, something spooky, even spooky Peter. Oh! <laughs> Bye, spooky Peter! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's Q! Oh god. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about this. Uh, hello again, Stri- well, what, did I give him like a kind of a, like a Warburton kind of- Hello again, stranger. Still thinking I'm in trouble. I'm trouble. I don't know you well enough yet. This again, huh? I hate talking about myself almost as much as I hate repeating myself. I came here to find some associates for criminal activities. I'm not looking for friends. Might as well hear you out. Yeah, I agree. That's all I ask. So I found the perfect bank. It's on fourth. A quiet branch. Just a sec, I'll show you. Pulls out a piggy bank. <laughs> Get me my hammer. <laughs> Leon pulls out some graphing paper. Wow. All right, so here are the plans. I drew the layout in pencil. Probably didn't need so much detail. It's for going in the front door. <laughs> I just love, like, the people creating this game who, like, the entire background for everything is a semicircle for the table and a wine glass. And it's just, like, just... Boy, I shouldn't have made these plans so incredibly intricate and detailed. <laughs> but what can I say? I love to draw. <laughs> I just figured it's best to be prepared. Wait. Does this mean you're interested? Tell me more about you first. All right, fine. I'll give you my life story. A bridged version. I'm a fucking shark. Yeah, I was hatched. <laughs> I'd probably help maintain our cover anyway. Wait, do sharks give live birth? I think... S so... We, have, we looked this up once. Yes. So they have eggs that hatch inside their bodies. Oh, man. And then they exit. So it's like, quote unquote, a live birth. That's bananas. But, yeah, isn't that crazy? Super crazy. Fran walks by. It seems like she's eavesdropping. The trouble with me is it's hard not to talk about stealing. I stole candy when I was nine. Switched to stealing beer at 14. Bro, I stole candy when I was three. Yeah. You fucking think you're so impressive? Bro, you think you're cool? Stole my first car a year later. C car. <laughs> I hit up convenience stores, drive-ins, even held up a laundromat once. I killed five people by the time I was ten. Okay. <laughs> that, that would be the facial reaction. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go. I threw my back out, carrying all those quarters. Did you ever get caught? Big or small, every heist has a hitch. Three or four went so bad, I was in and out of jail, but uh, wasn't anything serious. Nothing I can't handle. Till I got crewed together, started doing banks. And then robbing them. <laughs> yeah, we worked at banks for so long. Even country cops took that seriously. Got me good after five. I spent the rest of my life behind bars. <laughs> I started doing banks. And then, like, another ghost walks in, like, Hey, I'm Banks. <laughs> uh, 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 didn't think I'd see you again. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, wow, uh, maybe we'll get matched. <laughs> so you have unfinished business. Nothing so dramatic. Stealing's just all I know. It's a hobby. <laughs> well, you've stolen my heart. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the talent. The love of my life. Oh, that's the bell. <laughs> well, Aaron, do you have a preference? Fucking Spooky Peter! Oh, really? By by a long shot, dude, he's awesome. Yeah, Spooky Peter. That's our time. You've heard my pitch, gotten to know me a little more than I like. So, what do you say? Help him out. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll be at this branch at this time. Leon slides you a slip of paper. It's been a slice. It's been a slice. I don't have to date him. We can just rob a bank together. I know. Well, that's great because you have the one you want to date, and oh. I have to choose one? Yeah, man. Fucking Spooky Peter! 
You have chosen wisely. You arrive for your date with Spooky Peter, a hall of mirrors at a roadside carnival. A clown's face, all smiles and menace, watches <laughs> over the entrance. Sup, fucker? Did you see that clown's face? It was crazy. <laughs> I can't believe they drew that. Welcome to my home. <laughs> it looks like the Joker, but like an off-brand version of the Joker. Inside are twisted corridors lined with mirrors. Endless twisted corridors. With only a slight reflection, it's especially disorienting to navigate these halls. Spooky Peter leads you to a specific mirror, taller than the others. The mirror's face is concave, as if to pull in everything around you. Hey. <laughs> we are going into this mirror. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to hesitate. <laughs> Together, you step inside the mirror. You guys go on, I'm gonna dilly-dally. <laughs> Your mind is fucking warped. Welcome to the mirror world. Or as it's known here. The regular world! <laughs> Drorimit. That's the mirror world spelled backwards. Uh, oh, really? So it is. Do you see the eerie green? This is what- that is what happens. When an image reflects itself. Are we in the Matrix? I love that they just flipped them and they were like, Welcome to a new dimension! <laughs> it takes on an eerie green. The more times a reflection is reflected, the greener it becomes. Just. Oh. Like. This! Ah! There's actually a science behind that. Nah, he's gonna like that's pretty green. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do not be afraid. Nothing here can hurt you. In the mirror world, the physical laws are upended. Am I really here? Are we human? <laughs> or are we dancer? Or am I over here? Or am I over here? Man, Spooky Peter, you're so fun. Perhaps it is. All of the above. <laughs> Three years in of dating, or even Peter, it's just like him on his phone, like <laughs> <laughs> just, just all looking down, like his fucking tummy's all out. It's like, hey, Spooky Peter, do you want to go look at something spooky? <sighs> <laughs> okay, fine. Or even nowhere at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. I thought you might be impressed. I have practiced these skills for ages. Centuries. It is not easy being green. <laughs> now come with me. The spooking hour approaches. Come on, he's fun. He, he puts you in new situations. He's no, got a little bit of humor you, to him. You made the right call. He come on, right call. he's the best one. That's 3 a.m. in case you're wondering. Uh, where are we going? We are headed to a brownstone. A walk-up I know quite well. The second floor apartment in a house going on a hundred years. Fuck yeah. A student of the arts named Paul has moved in. He heard the rumors. The house is haunted, they said. He ignored them. The cost was worth the fear. Sick. Together, you and Spooky Peter fly through the void. How romantic. Passing uh, countless mirrors in reverse. Wow. Each peering into a life still being lived. Each mirror in the living world is actually a door. Staring into one long enough in the dark. Staring into one long enough in the dark? Uh, staring into one long enough in the dark, dot, dot, that dot. That makes sense. Or saying a spirit's name three times. That's like knocking. Each one is like a thumbnail on the Netflix choose your movie list. And here we are, chilling. Raises his eyebrows. <laughs> it is the Santa Claus 2. <laughs> <laughs> the best one! <laughs> oh After my god. Aaron, this is so weird. Yeah, it's fucking... Spooky Peters knows what's up. I get, yeah, I guess that's it, huh? Yeah. All right, well. So we just keep going on dates. A splendid haunt. Yes. Uh, are you saying? Well, I mean, it's the, the it's time for the episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, I don't know if you want if you want to see us continue to date Spooky Pete. <laughs> uh, 
you go right ahead and let us know. And then we'll go right ahead and keep dating him. You know, whatever. Well, next time on Game Grumps. Yeah, looking forward to it. This is cute. Definitely made in ink. I can tell you that. It uh, is cute. I like the way that they went to an alternate dimension and he's just flipped. Yeah. That is like... We still are in the mirror world. The simplest way. Well, what, where do you think this relationship goes from here, Aaron? Um, three kids. Ah. Oh. Uh, suburban house. Spooky kids. Spooky um, house. Spooky Peter is always yearning for the days long past. Yeah. Um, I lost my spooky job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We're spooky uh, financially ruined. <laughs> spooky Peter, it's okay. It's not okay! Pours himself some whiskey. <laughs> spooky Peter, <laughs> you said you wouldn't drink today. I'm gonna get lost in the fucking spooky sauce. Well, I didn't know I was gonna lose my job today! All right, next time on Game Grumps. You need to stop giving me so much spooky shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. The water. Everybody drinks the water. The water gives us life. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the water has brought me death.